welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds among heavyweights. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Vladimir Klitschko's scouting report is an easy one to read. Three letters, J-A-B. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's jabbing in his way. And I don't mean talking. Yeah, I mean throwing that stiff lead hand out into his opponent's face all night long. What kind of opponents have caused real problems for Vladimir Klitschko? The kind of guys that have caused problems for the fans, you know. Guys that are stout of heart, are stout of mind. Guys that are physically strong, that they can get past his danger zone and start to get inside and engage him a little bit. Make him deal with things that are outside his domain, where he's not the better guy physically, where he has to be the better guy mentally. He's not always the better guy mentally. Move, move. <laughs> Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Scores well with a straight right. Right to the belt line. Final ten seconds of round number one. Vladimir Klitschko putting his punches together and scoring with them. Vladimir has a real knack for being accurate in his combinations. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Mike Tyson's nailed by a huge hook. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Vladimir Klitschko. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight, typically the win. All that size, all that leverage, and that pure athleticism of Vladimir Klitschko. And it comes in the form of the left hand that time. Good one, too, by Vladimir Klitschko. He scores with the jab there. Halfway through this round. And Tyson with a block punch. Left to the body. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good return fire that time. Klitsch goes banged around by a big uppercut. Vladimir Klitschko conscious of others in need. He's had phenomenal charitable efforts throughout his career, including winning an award for a program that he titles Fight for Peace. When you're in that ring, Joe, it's a difficult place to be. It's a difficult place to perform. You have to have strength. You have to have physical strength. You have to have inner strength. And you have to care about things that are more than just pertaining to yourself. Otherwise, you can't be strong. You have to look for something, grab onto something to get through something. And caring about those other things can be your strength. And that's the end of round two. Vladimir Klitsch goes back in his corner now, probably reflecting on what was a very solid round. Now, he didn't overwhelm his guy with a quantity of punches, but he was so effective with what he did put forth. Yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of times people think that the muscles that count the most in any sport, and especially in this sport, such a difficult sport, is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest and back. You know, this guy's got the strong muscle up top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight right now. Tyson's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. 
Oh, head knocking with that right hand. You're that tall, you're that big, you're that capable, you're gonna land jabs like he just did. Vladimir Klitschko scores again. Vladimir Klitschko's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. Brings the left hand upstairs. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. He digs in with a left hand to the body. What an excellent two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. And round three comes to an end. You need to punch every time. You need to cut the ring off. Go to jab and land straight, okay? Jab, straight. Go. I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Vladimir Klitschko's pitching a shutout right now on Teddy's scorecard. First three rounds all going on his side of the ledger. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you wanna walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Rushing two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Flush right hand to the head. Good biting, snapping shot by Vladimir Klitschko. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice job doubling up the jab by Vladimir Klitschko. Well played, straight right hand. Vladimir Klitschko's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. It's okay, let's go. Right to the body. Teddy's having a field day. He's peppering him with shots from the outside. Well, when did we all of a sudden show up at a bull ring? I'm watching a matador right now control that bull and not let that bull get near where he can gore him. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Targeting a left hand down low. 